First we have Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. MGS5 is pretty awesome for a bunch of reasons. First off, the gameplay is super smooth and versatile. What I mean by smooth is like the movement, the gunplay, and everything in this game. I think if you want to compare the movement of this game, I think it is similar to Helldivers 2 as of right now, like the modern games. Now the gameplay is that you can sneak around like a ninja or go in guns blazing. Whatever you want to do, your choice. The open world vibe is also a big plus. You are not stuck on rails, you can tackle missions however you want, which adds a ton of freedom to the game. Plus, the graphics are top-notch, even until now, and the attention to detail is insane. And let's not forget about the story, it is deep, with twists and turns that keep you hooked into the game. Overall, it's that mix of gameplay freedom, stunning visuals, and a gripping storyline that makes MGS5 a standout. Burn with the rest of them. This place is huge. Yes, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Now, this is, of course, another one from the Kojima production. Now, I know it is a bit higher than 15 bucks, but trust me, it's worth it. Or, you know, just go get it when it is on sale, like maybe 80% off, not right now but still if you want to go get this game right now it is worth every penny now let me explain a little bit about this game mgs revengeance is a blast for a few key reasons first off the combat is insanely fun you're like a cyborg ninja slicing through enemies with a katana and the action is super fast paced and flashy the cutting mechanics lets you chop up objects and enemies in a precise way which never gets old you can do this over and over and over again and you will still have a lot of fun playing this game. And the story is quite wild and over the top, kind of fitting for this game. So the characters, uh, especially Raiden, are badass and memorable, plus the music is adrenaline pumping, making every fight feel epic. Overall, it's a combination of high octane action, cool mechanics, and a crazy fun storyline that makes Revengeance such a good time to play. Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Now this one is really really recommended by me because this game is really cheap and it is a remastered collection of all three Mass Effect games. So you get to experience the whole epic saga in one go. The graphics have been upgraded so everything looks way better than the original one. And the story is one of the best parts in this game. You get to make choices that really matter affecting how the story unfolds and who survives. The characters are super memorable and you build strong connections with them over the games. The gameplay is a mix of action-packed shootings and RPG elements, so you get the best of both worlds. Plus, the universe is richly detailed, with tons of lore and side quests to dive into. Overall, it's the combination of an epic story, improved graphics, and engaging gameplay that makes Mass Effect Legendary Edition such a great experience. And getting this game as cheap as $6? Man, you cannot miss this out. Now, if you love fighting demons and an intense FPS, then this game is for you, Doom Eternal. So it is praised for intense, fast-paced action, requiring constant movement, 
strategic weapon use, and quick reflexes. The game features a diverse arsenal of powerful weapons, fluid mobility mechanics, stunning graphics, and a killer heavy metal soundtrack that amplifies the adrenaline of your gameplay. I cannot stress this enough, when playing this game, you gotta listen to the audio of this game. The impact of the guns, the music, and the, I don't know, like the goriness of the demons when you punch through them. It's so fucking good. This game is very challenging and rewarding, and combined with well-designed levels and surprisingly deep lore, it makes Doom Eternal a standout experience for fans of action-packed shooters. So go get this game, it is very cheap and you will have a ton of fun, maybe like 50 hours. Just play this game. Well, Shadow of Mordor, the classic, right? Shadow of Mordor is a fantastic game. The combat is smooth and satisfying, similar to the Batman Arkham series. The open world setting in Middle Earth is immersive, filled with rich lore and stunning visuals. The standard feature, of course, we cannot forget this, right? The Nemesis system, which creates dynamic enemies that remember their encounter with you holding grudges and becoming stronger if they survive battles. Now this system can be quite frustrating too for some people, but this is very innovative. This kind of system makes every playthrough unique and personal. Additionally, the story which fits neatly into the Lord of the Rings universe, it is engaging and adds depth to the gameplay. Overall, the combinations of fluid and immersive world and the innovative Nemesis system that makes Shadow of Mortar so good. You will have a good time playing these games. Definition of insanity is. Far Cry 3. If you haven't touched this game, I know it's from Ubisoft, but I, I think this is the golden age or, or like the golden year of Ubisoft. So the game's open world setting on a tropical island is not only beautiful, but also full of things to explore. From jungles to hidden caves, the story is really really good and the voice acting too man. It has so many memorable characters like the iconic villain, you know, Vaz who adds a lot of intensity to the narrative. The gameplay is a perfect mix of action and stealth, allowing you to approach missions in various ways. So basically, it's quite sandbox-y. I don't know if that's the word, but you get the idea. So whether you prefer going in guns blazing or suddenly taking down enemies like stealth, you can do them both. The crafting system and skill tree adapt to the gameplay, letting you customize your character's abilities. Additionally, the game offers a ton of side activities and missions, ensuring there's always something fun to do. And everything about this makes Far Cry 3 so fucking good. I'm fucking crazy. It's okay. It's like water under the bridge. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. Now, many people say that this is only GTA in Hong Kong, but I think that's not true. It's because the combat system is a highlight, focusing on martial arts with fluid, satisfying hand-to-hand -hand combat, and a variety of moves and combos. So a good comparison is probably Sifu, right? If you like Sifu, then you will probably like this game. There's also driving and shooting mechanics, adding to the overall action pack experience. And the game offers a good mix of main missions and side activities, from street races to undercover cop missions, which keeps the gameplay fresh and exciting. Additionally, the characters are well developed and the voice acting is top notch, man. I cannot stress you enough, a good voice acting is 
a must in a game. It will make us immerse through the story, to the game, everything about it, and making the game super super enjoyable. So overall, it's the blend of rich story, dynamic combat, and a lively open world that makes Sleeping Dogs a good game. And I really really recommend you guys to try this game out because this game was out in the PS3 era and everyone was talking about it. Like talking non-stop, even my friends. Like they are always forcing me to play Sleeping Dogs because I have a PS3. Got it, man. I want to give you a chance, Shen, but you have to work with me. Then maybe I can cut you a deal. Oh, Superintendent. I'm in the middle of an interrogation. Inspector, there's been a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding, sir? As your superior officer, I'm instructing you to release this man. But, sir, I have it on record that he's son on... Well, speaking of classic, a Batman Arkham Knight. So if you have ever wondered why Spider-Man Remastered feels so good to play, then this is the answer. Batman Arkham Knight inspires a lot of superheroes game because how good the combat is, how fluid the animation is, and just the movement overall with how you traverse along the city. This game is just so good. Like, I don't know what to explain again. Like, I want you to just play the game and it is only $2, so go get it, man. You will experience a good time. The graphics is so stunning. The gameplay is so buttery smooth. The RPG elements is there. The main story is there too. Overall, it's like a 10 out of 10 game. Maybe some quality of life changes needs to be addressed because this is made, I think, in the PS3 era. But take a look at the game. It is so good, so beautiful, even until now. <laughs> if you compare this, like there's a lot of comparison between Batman Arkham Knight and the latest one. I, I don't even remember the name. Like the, oh yeah, Sweet Side Squad, right? So yeah, Batman Arkham Knight, I really, really recommend you guys to try this game out, experience it yourself. You will have a ton of fun and you will want more games like this, but there's none. So that is how impactful Batman Arkham Knight is. So the relationships well we have Divinity Original Sin 2 basically the budget version of Baldur's Gate 3 I'm kidding no it's not but it is of course made by the same studio which is Larian Studios and this game is a CRPG now I have to mention this that CRPG is not my cup of tea but I still recommend you guys to try this game out because this game offers a deep tactical combat system that's turn-based giving you plenty of opportunities to strategize and use the environment to your advantage it's really good basically everything in Baldur's Gate 3 is there like most of the things right and the story is rich and engaging allowing for a high degree of player choice and branching narratives that can significantly impact the game's world and its characters the character creation and development options are extensive this is also Baldur's Gate 3 main feature right uh, they are praised for its character creation so letting you build unique characters with varied skills and abilities the world itself is beautifully crafted with detailed environments and a strong sense of atmosphere one of the standout feature in this game is multiplayer mode which lets you play with friends yeah making decisions together or going off on your own adventures within the same game world so Baldur's Gate 3 also has this feature which is really really good and the game also supports a high level of interactivity allowing you to combine elements in creative ways such as casting spells that react with the environment or crafting unique items. Overall, the combination of deep and flexible gameplay mechanics, a compelling and reactive story, and the freedom to approach situations in multiple ways that makes Divinity Original Sin 2 so highly regarded and praised and everyone says that if you love RPG or whatever it is, if you love gaming in general, try this game out. It is so good. It is a good CRPG. So yeah, go get this game. It is really, really good. Have fun playing Divinity Original Sin 2 for 200 hours. You will experience endless layers of depth and reactivity. Neatly packaged into the visually exciting, often unpredictable, and always dramatic world of Divinity Original Sin 2. Definitive Edition. The 
force is unusually strong with him. That much is clear. The last but not the least is LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Yes, this is the latest installment from this IP. Man, this game is really good. It offers a fun and humorous retelling of all 9 main Star Wars films, allowing fans to experience their favorite moments in a lighthearted and playful way. The game features an expansive world design with numerous planets and iconic locations to explore, each filled with collectibles, secrets, and side missions. And if you feel like you are a completionist, you want to complete this game 100%, man, it's gonna take you a while. <laughs> like, a while, maybe like 200 hours, because this game has so many secrets, has so many collectibles, like, oh my god. So, talking about the gameplay, the gameplay combines traditional LEGO game mechanics, you know, simple like building puzzles and puzzle solvings, with more dynamic combat in vehicle sections. The game also introduces new mechanics and improvements, such as over the shoulder shooting and more refined melee system and the visuals man holy this this is top notch like it captures the charm of both lego and star wars and the voice acting and humor add to the overall enjoyment of this game like if you want to have fun with your kids or whoever it is like like a minor right oh, it sounds so wrong saying it a minor but yeah like a kid like a 10 year old this game is just fun the game is high quality it is fun, it is humorous, it has so many mini games to enjoy with your spouse too. So yeah man, go get this game if you wanna play multiplayer. And, oh yeah, don't forget this game has couch co-op, so good. Well, that's pretty much about my 10 games uh, on Summer Sale that I really really recommend under 15 bucks. Hope you guys enjoyed this list and you know, have fun playing all these games man. Like I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support that you have given me because my last video was, you know, pretty good. It has a good reception. I will still continue on doing this. Thank you guys so much and enjoy your games and have fun.